Oh, no, no, maybe. Mm, that's the thing he's not supposed to be allowed to do. Okay, here we go. Now eh, we're up shit creek without a bat paddle. Um. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Batman Enemy Within and to episode two, which finally came out today. I'm super excited for this. If you missed episode one, I'll leave a card. You go check that out first because we're gonna be building off of the decisions from the last episode. I definitely recommend it because it was just one of the best beginnings to any Batman game I've seen in a very long time. And it looks like episode two is gonna be going full force. Like that looks like Harley Quinn and Mr. Freeze and Bane. I wasn't really sure how many villains they were gonna bring into season two of this game, but they are not pulling any punches, so this should be good. A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line, and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. That sucks. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And Good. despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. Let's step up for Gordon. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hmm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old mule, aren't you? He's a good dude. I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I understand. You think I work for you. You're not working for me. We're working together. After all, we both want the same thing. Am I right? What the hell? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's not good. My professional bat opinion? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons. This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Really? I Would thought I was just gonna waltz in as Bruce. The limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Yeah, because we're buddies. <laughs> Let's move, people. This is what we train for. Okay. An attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. 
Oh, they're attacking a whole bunch of places. So I'm going to go deal with the arsenal, and they're going to go deal with everything else that's happening right now. Seems like a pretty good idea, right? They look like Riddler's cronies. They're all wearing masks, so it's not going to go well for them. you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Sleeper hold. Oh, yeah. Go to sleep. <laughs> gonna sing him a bat lullaby. Whoa. That's right. That's the effect I'm going for here. How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Ten or twelve, one big one? Okay, got it. And now for the big one, I'm concerned. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just the Drop from above. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. We don't need to disarm one, we're gonna disarm all of them. What was that? Oh, it is Batman stepping on your neck. <laughs> oh, shifty. There we go. Ooh, who's got the bullets? Is it you? Oh, you're gonna get shift queued. And yeah, that that's right in the heart. I can't imagine too many people survive. Whoop! Just gonna dodge the corpse. Yeah. Oh no. Cronies don't laugh. Who are you? A nightmare. Much like yourself. I was worried about that. You can call me Bane. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, yep. Ow. You're a big boy, aren't you? <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. He's an exception to the whole uh, mask deal. All right, and yeah, guys, really, I know that he's wearing a mask, but that doesn't mean your exceptions as well. You fight well. Thank you. You fight alone. You will die alone. You really don't want to just fight me yourself? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's an E to the knee and a Q to the butt. Okay, that, that's kind of rude. Shouldn't, oh. You scream like a big boy, too. Uppercut Bane or disarm the goon? Oh, we got uppercut Bane. And then we'll disarm the goon. <laughs> I like it. Okay, get my shots in when I can. He hasn't, like, voided out yet. That's what I'm concerned about, right? He's just... He's just muscly Bane. I can see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Yeah, well, Riddler is dead. Yeah, that worked He's for him. Dead, Not Riddler. You should be worrying about yourself. I didn't get I him. I promised my man a hell of a battle if ever I faced you, and I'd hate to disappoint them. Okay. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison, and there, even the fiercest of men were often some. You talk a lot. You need a battering. How do you like that? Ooh. Um. Will pay for that. That usually hurts people. Uh, kick. Oh crap, no, 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 not the bat squish. <laughs> Anything but the bat squish. Here we go. Well, we're doing fine. As long as he doesn't get to those little vials in his belt, we'll be okay. Save your strength, man. Yeah. This one is mine. I didn't even get through the fat layer with that batarang. Oh no, no, maybe. Mm, that's the thing he's not supposed to be allowed to do. Okay, here we go. Eh, we're up shit creek without a bat paddle. Um, it doesn't look any bigger. Just kind of greener and angrier. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> no, no, ow, ow, stop. Okay, there we go. Bat flip. I can use your own weight against you. Hmm, that's a lot of weight. Having a giant man on my balls isn't peaceful. Oh, yeah! Way to go, dudes! Uh, I'm gonna zap away. And yeah, put that on there. Oh, um, what? I'm not taking this stuff into account. There we go. 
to go. Ooh, he's fast. Apparently bad right now. No, don't break my back. Don't break my back. Don't do it. This pain you're feeling, Batman. Uh, you want to get shocked, and I really don't want to hear anything from you. Okay, as long as you didn't give me the knee. <laughs> no, no. Okay, every time he lifts me above his head, I can hear my back snapping like a twig. Okay. That's only one better than the back break. Roy's wearing off. Be good. Yeah, he's all calmed down now. And again, I'm now mortar, so... Kind of hoping the Bane would get like extra buff. He's kind of the same size. Um, I need Gordon. Uh, yeah, we're gonna click to call Gordon. I don't trust Waller. Gordon, help Batman. brother out. Batman, what's wrong? I'm hurt. That might have been a mistake. I didn't think I was that hurt. I was like, okay, we should call Gordon because I trust him more, but he doesn't know that I'm Bruce Wayne. When, if he comes to save me, he might figure that out. Ah, oh, crap. Batman! Say something if you can hear me! I'm over here. I'm smooshed. Oh, no, I'm fine. Gordon. Christ. Batman. <sighs> Come on, help me. Maybe get this building off my back. That'd be a big help. It won't move. Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off. Okay. Come on. Oh, you there we do go. It. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's the stuff. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Come on. I have a bat pancake right about now. Thanks, I'll see you later. Oh yeah, there's a trucker over there that's hurt. Where is he? Mechanic, sorry. He didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Need to rearrange my insides. You're feeling up to it. I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. Who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs. Said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. You better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These... Bastards declared war on our city. Tell them to be careful, Jim. Don't let them take any unnecessary risks. These men are dangerous. Matoya, update the APB information and remind all units to proceed with extreme caution. We don't need anyone else playing hero tonight. Yes, sir. Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me, we're nothing like her. We're men of principle who still believe in the letter of the law. We're all on the same side. Waller is not the enemy. The hell she's not. That battle axe declared war on me the moment she stripped me of my rank. Don't take it personally. I'm on your side, Thanks but again man for up. Keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. 
So, what did I miss? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham brokerage house when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. You looking at suit? Vesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. You be dead. Better deaf than dead. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler. Not you. That's nice of you to say. Why would it be your fault? I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. Thanks for the hot tip. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Write it down. <laughs> Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. it. Ain't easy being Batman. Cool. Oh, they, they start off strong. I like that they don't slowly build up to stuff in these. Alfred, my insides feel like my ear. Could you maybe help me out a little bit? I'm, I'm fine. Really. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, I'm not fine. None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. Well, I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if, if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow? Listen, I'm hoping not to get my ass handed to me by You're Bane every day, alright? I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, yeah, you wouldn't make a very good Batman. We'll talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. I don't have holes in me. My insides are now outsides. <laughs> As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war just continues to rise. I need your strength right now. Of course. Sorry for not being my resolute self. We've never gone up against anyone able to cause you so much harm. Waller is right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good. Thanks, Al. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? Scarecrow? The same but person pulled the trigger. We don't know anything about him. Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Ooh, okay, I'm seeing some ice over here. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. 
at least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Okay, that's not good. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Okay, so I think we know which of the two is Mr. Freeze. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead. And even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. We have Harley Quinn. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown. I mean, she's kind of hot. Wielding a mallet. Bit of turn off. Me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Impressive. Okay. Uh, we also have the Gotham feed, and then we have the Codex. Guns, That's nothing. money, biotech. What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but... You're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster, or take on his friends if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them, that would be suicide in your current condition. You're right, Alfred. I hate to say it, but I'm not exactly ready for round two. One thing's for sure. We can't just sit around waiting for them to strike again. We've seen the kind of devastation these killers can cause. Waller might have been right. Some problems might be better solved by Bruce Wayne. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. John's hardly predictable, but it's a risk I'll have to take. He clearly sees something in you that appeals to him. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. My father was one of the best-known criminals in Gotham. It should be easy enough to pretend I'm following in his footsteps. I suppose it could work. So that's it, then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Hopefully the invitation is still open. John's the one that still freaks me out. John, I'd like to take you up on your offer. Because I can't put my finger on him. He's the Joker. He's clearly not good, but he doesn't act like a villain. Excellent news, smiley face. Can we meet? No, just the place. The stacked deck. The stacked deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Batman? I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Yeah, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. Feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh, uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, <laughs> 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 
go on. Finish what you were gonna say. I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Man, I might be hurt, but I'll still end you. How that to my ear? Dead parents thing. Yeah, I'm a dead parents. Thank you, Joker. Bruce. <laughs> uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? Bottles under my chair, Willie. Who's that from? I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. It's Wednesday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. So... That know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but geez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I wouldn't have blamed you. Riddler deserved everything he got. Why, Bruce? Seems like you hated him even more than I did. Maybe you pulled the trigger. Wouldn't that be a guess? <laughs> Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. It is what I texted about. As I about. recall, you had some reluctance. I've been thinking, and I changed my mind. I'd like to meet them now. Really? You seem pretty against it at the church. Not the time or place. Why the sudden change of heart? It's odd doesn't seem like you. The timing wasn't right, but I've reconsidered. The way you described your friends sounded great. A special breed, you said. Inspiring. I like to be around people like me. I didn't realize I was so convincing. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. It's like he's telling the truth. I pinky swear. But he has to be playing some kind of angle, right? Uh. Uh. Mm, uh. Sure. I don't know. Sure. Pinky swear. Friends for life. Listen, lady. We got our drinks. Move on. Let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. That's nice. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. I don't like your face either. Uh, nothing gets past okay, you. Okay, fine. You're right. I'll leave him be. Go away, Willie. What are you? Screw you! Oh, that's not very Nobody nice. <laughs> disrespect me! No one's making a fool out of Willie. I'm gonna defend him. Stay away from him. 
Oh, okay. Action scene. And he's recording this. Perfect. That's not, oh yeah, okay. You got a bouncy face. Really? You're welcome, John. You want some too? Willie had a problem. We took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. All right, freak show. I'm calling the on. Better get out of here. Weird. <laughs> oh my God, his laugh. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, cool. They're expecting you. Good. Uh, Br Bruce. Um. Wow. <laughs> one. One more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. It's huge. I think I'm in love. It's it's an odd <laughs> feeling. At first, I, I I thought I had some kind of disease, but uh, no. I, I think it's love. And uh, are you in love with with me? No. But I hope uh, we can still be friends. So mysterious. You at least got to tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Sure. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. I already got Catwoman somewhere, so I can I can help you knock boots with Harley. Why not? You're driving. There you go. Oh, this isn't your Almost car. Almost got it. God damn it! I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? Do we need? I'm can't we walk? Sure. This is how you get this thing started. I could just buy you a car, you know, something with an actual key. Uh, uh, this works. It's just a matter of trial and error. Just one sec. There we go. Oh. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. I could probably take it from her, right? Real bright. Harley. Stay out of this pudding. Grown ups are talking. Okay, well that's my gun. So. <laughs> that's a pretty good reason. I like a guy who's good with his hands. She doesn't look how I'd expect. I'm just Josh and your rich boy. See, there wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. Yes, there was. <laughs> Oops. Well, let's put some music on. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure. I can see the funny side. See, I told you. Bruce is a good sport. Puddin said you didn't want to meet. Now you want to. Bouncing around like a yo-yo don't exactly inspire confidence. What do you want with us? What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? Well, when you have as much money as I do, you get bored. I'm just looking for a little excitement. Excitement, huh? Mr. Silver Spoon needs some new toys. Oh, you, sh you should have seen the way you took care of business with the guy in the bar, though, Harley. He's a force to be reckoned with. I'm supposed to be making you so look good, dude. Put, skip over to that bodega and get me a slushie. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. No, oh, don't leave me with her. She's crazier than you are. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. 
You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. Does that mean I can save him from becoming the Joker? He thinks the world of you. Good. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute. You're sweet on little old pudding. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. I don't really care if you After trust all, me. you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? My father used to run crime in the city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. You think that's the same? Eh, don't matter. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Oh, gee, thanks, Bud. We gotta go. Hi. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Need to rat me out. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? Mm, yeah, oh, fine. It's the truth. Oh, We're all friends. Just made my day, Bruce. I want you to know, the feelings mutual. This is crap. I'm just setting myself up to betray the Joker and have it be all the worse. It's really obnoxious. Oh my God, that is the best damn slushy ever. No, I could buy in a slushy company right now. Suck I think I'm good. That. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. No, I don't trust whatever Come you got. On. Put your lips on it. Nope. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'm a pretend I ain't offended. John. I'll try some. John will like some. There you go. Mm. Here you go. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe I'll even bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? This is what you get for inventing things, Bruce. Fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do what Whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? Well, this is a complex task. There might be some bumps along the way. Nothing is guaranteed. Some things are. Like how fast I'll make you disappear if any of those bumps turn into trouble. Listen, Bane beat me up. You're not going to beat me up. That's not how this works. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. I have weird friends. This is not how I expected this episode to go. Maybe I could just rig the key and give her, I don't know, some piece of crap. I could hand her my Blockbuster card. She wouldn't know.
Don't mind me. Just, uh, Bruce Wayne. You know, names on the side of the building. Uh, Mr. Wayne. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. Oh, um, yeah, about that. I guess I can do that. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. Is everything okay? Well, no rest for the weary. Yeah, or for the wicked. Is that a shot You're at me? Set, sir. Listen, man, I don't have clowns waiting in the car outside, okay? I'm just going in to get my wallet. Right? That's what it said? Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. Oh. What? <laughs> Wait in the car, idiots! You really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Idiots. Going up, Rosie. <laughs> this ain't your stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Just go wait in the car. I can do this alone. I don't think you're getting it. <sighs> you ain't the one in charge. And you ain't the only one allowed to have fun. Didn't your mama ever teach you about Sharon? Now that you mention it, no. She never had the chance. <laughs> We're supposed to be friends. You don't take shots at my Keep dead parents. No one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? Fashion I consultants. I don't believe we've met. They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place! Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. <laughs> Guys, can you just shut up? Please. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? It's like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Why are you such Is an idiot? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> <laughs> your friends don't suit you, Bruce. Oh, trust me, I know. Get out of here. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. No, no, no. Show me what else you can do with those hands. Joker, help. We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall Bruce we? Bruce is right. We are people with purpose. We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. I'm happy that wasn't my head. Okay. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. 
Hey then. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Yay. Tip talk. What's the hold up? There better not be any Batman stuff down here. That'd be real bad. Please. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. Oh, this just sucks. Like, I have so much balancing to do. I need to stay on both of their good sides, but I, I don't really want to be on their good sides. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Better not be any batarangs lying around. <laughs> Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Let's be clear who's in charge right now. Maybe I don't want to get it. Maybe I can uh, just wander around and, and do really whatever I want. Yeah, how about, how about that? You guys aren't really say, well, okay, she's swinging that around a little bit. Oh, I can't actually go anywhere or do anything. I, I have to. <laughs> All right, well then, yeah, you're, you're the one in charge, okay. Screw me. Lock protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. That's not good. The lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Oh, no, he's not going to like that at all. Or you. Then help me out here. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Yeah, maybe oh, we can 3D print a thumb. This guy. Oh, this sucks. How about we try some boxes? Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. Paper is probably not the best. What about his desk? I mean, in reality, the computer screen is probably gonna be best. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Ooh, okay, we get a little ornament. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from art class. All right, that's a start. Like a little bit of a fingerprint? How useful is a little bit? Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. Harley's not gonna be too pleased with all this reminiscing and non-door opening. A little bit more? There. Okay. We're adding to it, it's a process. Uh, nothing else going on over here. Okay, let's check the keyboard. I'm just gonna make my way around this chair. It doesn't go into the floor like my chair, so it confuses me a little bit. Anything? Okay. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. I assume that it'll come from the monitor? Who doesn't have a few fingerprints on the monitor, right? Okay, still unconscious. Oh. 
I hope he's not hurt too badly. Yeah, only a little brain damage. Oh crap, I can't get anything from the monitor. Um, the printer? That might work. Maybe. Lots of buttons? Nope. Nope. Not encouraging. Don't really push buttons with fingers. Alrighty then. Um, I'm running out of things to scan. How about this EMP generator? That's totally inconspicuous. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, this will work. Now what? Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator put in. No, it's not. It's a thermos. Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? It's a thermos. It keeps your soup warm. Okay. I'm going to open the vault and we're all going to leave. I'm going to smash in any heads or steal any more technology. You only want the key. You only get the key. There we go. I just hop in the vault and close the door behind me. They'll leave eventually, right? Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. The vault is like the same size as the lab. Looking for this. Tiffany. Why are you I told here? you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. That's not this, good. This is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Uh. You gotta believe me, Tiffany. This is not what it looks like. Oh, really? A man who hates guns doesn't produce them in secret. I came looking for answers, but I didn't expect this. You're in much deeper than I thought. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. No need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? Don't I mean, say anything to her. I want to know about your uh, friend here. You don't have to say anything to her, John, okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. Good. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. Thanks, buddy. What I really need is the phalanx key. I'm working on it. That I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side. <sighs> Come on, Bruce. You Listen. know how dangerous this tech could be in the wrong hands. They're gonna kill you. Oh, what the hell? any more than you do, Tiffany. But this is the only way to walk away safely. Trust me, it's the right thing to do. It's a little too late for that. Oh, crap. Oh, don't, well. don't shoot him. Ah! No, oh, okay. It's just Tiffany. a taser and you're gonna get smooshed. Mm, yep. Well, how about that? Looks like Brucey boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. Not this is your fault. Not this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kind of like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. You gonna tell me who she is to you? We grew up together. You could say she's family. 
You know family of mine. Oof, gross. Your friend seems a little hot under the collar. <laughs> she certainly You're... has your fire, Bruce. You are right? Or should I say your spark? You people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab! I whacked a bunch of people in my time, Sugar. But I don't think you're old man's on my list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the names. I can't believe you'd associate with these... with these maniacs! These killers! Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> Ain't that right, Brucey? Yeah. He came to us because he got bored of being a billionaire. Come on. Family, All right, you? no, screw her. Yeah, she doesn't trust yeah, me. Sorry. I don't I care about her. Birds of a feather and all that. Tiffany can eat it. Oh, gross! I'm tearing up. You can be a real heartbreaker when you turn on the charm. Mm. No, oh, come on. I didn't mean to do that. That was her. Go. Okay, we're gonna run away. Bruce will keep her quiet. She's alive. Another. Now that he's part of the family. Oh, good, I'm in. Ah, uh, Harley, look what I found. It was just sitting up in that vault. Oh, that's great, Pud. You get a cookie, too. Mm. There we go. Okay, we're even. Right, John? Got your back, buddy. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. We get soup to warm? It's just a thermos. That could have went better. I feel like a lot of things in this game could have gone better. What's up, Alfred? Bruce. Are you all right? Bad night. Clowns. <sighs> I'm fine, Alfred. <sighs> I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Oh, so you saw that. Breaking into my own company was unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I don't blame you for saying you were one of them. It made sense to placate them, even if it meant breaking Tiffany's heart. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just tell her. I've been making an enemy I've of her this entire time. You about your father's life. Tiffany's safety is more important than the truth. Just be careful you don't drive her away. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. Good. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. Double good. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story is going to cause more problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. I went with whatever I thought would work, okay? It's so fast. One thing after another. You need to take it easy, Al. Get some rest. It's Regina can eat it. only a momentary bit of exhaustion. I'm sure it will pass. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Exhausting for you? Have you seen what I've been up to? Oh, God. My night never ends, man. You think you're exhausted? Be careful. Good luck. My insides are still leaking outsides. I still feel like my ear here, and it just will not stop. <laughs> Batman doesn't get five minutes of sleep. This is not okay. All right, what's up, Gordon? Please be... Okay, it's Gordon. Good. 
I don't, I don't have the time or patience to deal with Waller right now. But you said you'd quit. Those things will kill Those you. Those things will kill you. Consider quitting. Ah, uh, you sound like my daughter. Maybe I am. You don't know. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A uh, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. Yeah, meet her in person. That'll go away quickly. Going through all that. People are traumatized every day, Jim. Most find a way of dealing with it without having to bash people with a hammer. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah. Oh. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No, just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? Yeah. If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. And what, you'll I'll shoot her? To the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can Ooh. to help you. Oh, oh, I, I don't need your help. Stay out of this, Gordon. I don't need your help. Uh, this isn't right. None of it. Don't want to be spreading around my identity, I okay? Don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin fast. Know what I mean? You could always leave. Best laid plans and all that. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job or you don't. You're absolutely right. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She did. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, what can impress you? It's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. Putting a tail on me jeopardizes the mission. Call it off. You're right. I will. Did I just Get win an argument? Their base of operations. Somewhere they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit him. Yeah, get Gordon in on this. Yeah, it's a good idea. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. That His was our operation. Better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. 
We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. I have Alfred. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped. Catwoman you get somewhere. Stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. Ooh, John says I'm in. Corner of oh, finger and 18? Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Thanks. You see? Not alone. Good. I, I look like a criminal. You really have to wear the hat? All right. Here we go. Oh, hey, friends. Um, rude. Not, I'm not Batman. Oh, that's not good. Hey, now. Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home. The end of the line. We're happy to have you. This didn't go according to plan. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. Mm, thank you. Oh, you don't have balls, do you? Well, it seems like the prince of Gotham. She like that. More like an empty suit. I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing ski. I'll bet you I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Okay. Ah. Whoopsie. What the hell? <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? What am it's I hearing right now? Oh! What have you done? Hey! Is he new yet? Um, you need to uncover. Yeah, what am I gonna do Don't in this chair? This okay. You fool! Oh yeah, his wife is gonna die. Off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice. Easy. I, I made it. I know how I to swear, just, just a switch. If you there you go. Get that electricity back on immediately. That one. I'll send you to a frozen. And that one. And then that one. And then uh, and then that one. Yeah, that's probably- oh, oh, crap! Uh, no, 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 never mind. I'm seeing a little pattern on the top right that I need to be following. So we have red, red, and then green, green, and then this one. Oh, wait, no, that one needs to be- oh, god! Uh, uh, why is this not- Here we go, that's it. What? It- it matched. Okay, now it's changed again. Uh, that one? Okay. And now match the remaining. Okay, why is this changing? This isn't okay. I'm trying. Why? Why would they make this so difficult? It's just an EMP. All right, I'm trying to save his wife. Okay, it's deactivated. We're good. Don't freeze me. Lights. You're welcome. Well, at least we know that it works. Yeah. Nice goggles. I must check on Nora. See how she is. Called it. You may have impressed these two. But I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Three? Fair I've impressed enough. three? Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. 
Yeah, Mr. Freeze's wife is cryogenically frozen because she's got some kind of really big illness. So if she thaws out, she'll die. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. I don't want to be alone with you. She's gonna touch my bat bits. Oh yeah, this isn't terrifying. Listen, Bruce, I just wanna clear the air a little. You showed me you were loyal back at your office. Did everything I asked, despite all the trouble I gave you. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit, and, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. That was nice. Okay, apology Thank accepted. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I haven't had it so long, I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. I think you're a sociopath honest, and a I'm liar. I'm not sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. But don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg. Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet. And believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You like full blown crazy, do you? You, go. you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I got this nice hat. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. Oh. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. Uh, I want some. So what's in it for me? What's my cut? <laughs> what do you need a cut for? I thought you said you were in this for thrills. Believe me, honey. You're gonna get them in abundance. As for what we're up to, all will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Oh, I'm in the clear. We already I got John. I can help. And Freeze. So what's the story on Freeze? So what's the deal with Freeze? He's unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. He keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know, it's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. Good to know. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. Also good to know. I don't think Bane likes me. I'm sorry about your father. Uh, I don't think Bane likes me. Bane Not talk about like dad. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. That's a whole lot of work. Um. Okay, we can bring it up, I guess. Listen, I know about your father. 
about how you tried to help him. He was the lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? Um, I have lost parents too. Look, I lost my parents too. I know the story. Everyone in this goddamn town knows the story. But don't make you president of the Dead Parents Club. Just being sympathetic. If I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. I do. I have connections, Harley. Good ones. I dig up everything I can of potential business partners. A background check? I guess that's only fair. Still Harley's friends. impressed by you. Yeah. Still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just don't bring it up again. You remember the last time you pulled a gun on me? Didn't go that well? Third time is gonna cost you. So are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. So I've already got John on my side. I need to get Freeze or Bane. And then I'll have Majority. I get the feeling Freeze is gonna come around a lot easier than Bane, considering I just saved his wife. What you doing, Freeze? That looks like a frost grenade. Okay, he's just punching some tires. Ural? Spirit of unity. Not really what I'm sensing from this group. Weird. Okay. So that is Harley's office. We can just roam around and we're finally gonna do a little bit of gameplay. <laughs> this has been a very cinematic episode. I haven't really said a whole lot. It's been a little weird for me, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it because seeing all these villains is pretty intense. Okay, let's let's go over here. I, like I said, I think I got Freeze in my back pocket. Right, I'm, I'm a scientific guy. What do you got there? Map of Gotham? Take a look at that first. What are they planning to do? I don't have time to sort through all this. Not with them watching me. Okay. Maybe later? Let's just talk to Mr. Freeze. I heard about your wife, and I... Hear me out. I might be able to help. What do you mean? You'll answer me if you're smart and understand the concept of self-preservation. You can't go on forever like this. A fugitive caring for a terminally ill loved one? It's just not feasible. What the hell do you know about it? What if you get caught? Sent to prison. What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, I'm not doing it for nothing. I expect a full return on my investment. <laughs> Practical. I respect that. I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Any tips on handling Bane? I don't know. Go talk to him. Oh, thanks. Good luck. So his right hand is the Freezy hand. They also call him Freeze, not Mr. Freeze. What would Harley need with an EMP? I can't risk tampering with it. Especially weird because they have the key, so they can get past security systems. What are they looking to turn off? I don't know. Okay, either way, like I said, we got Freeze on the level. Mr. Freeze has always been a super interesting villain, because he's not, like, necessarily super evil. At least not a lot of them. He just does what he has to do. And he does it in a very criminal and psychopathic way. But yeah, yeah, overall. Hey, Bane. Uh, ooh, Venom Lab. Excuse me. We're just gonna go look at this real quick. Jamaican here, Luchadori. Okay, nothing really going on. I was hoping to get another chance to speak with you. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. Fetch, Wayne. Okay. 
We need to go find beer. Uh, EMP shielding? That's weird. EMP shielding. This material will keep whatever it's insulating from being affected by the EMP blast. So they'll turn off power from everything but whatever this is. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Bane doesn't want us talking to it. Get out of here. Cute mask. I assume Batman would kick your ass. Okay, so I can't get some cold ones from Freeze's room. I don't know where they keep the beer around here. Uh, John's house? Oh, he's got a little house. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Um, maybe John has beer. Hey, buddy. It's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before and your office and making me look good. Oh, I did. Good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> oh, good. It was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help too. You didn't catch it? EMP? Oh, Looked like Bane might kill you. I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. Ooh. That's the only thing I think he really respects. Well, then I owe you my life, John. It's what pals do. I know you do the same for me. Yeah, and probably. You know it. You nailed it. Can I get some of those beers on the floor? You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Just need some beers. There we go. Can I get some of those? Prisca. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. I'm just going to put one in my ass pocket. Yeah, that, that'll go well. Uh, we got some pictures. Huh? Think she really brightens up the room. A thousand watt face. It's How such a... Two meet? Same way you and I met. In Arkham. She found me at a dark time and gave me a reason to live out here and experience all this. I don't see how we aren't destined to be together. <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense. It's such an interesting take on the Joker and Harley because they're reversed. Like, Harley is the one that seems almost like a psychopath and randomly violent and you can't explain her actions sometimes. And then John, or the Joker, he's the one that's really, like, buddy-buddy and, like, almost nice and more cartoony. Very strange. Oh, look, that's where we're friends. Okay, then. Well, I got the beer that I wanted, so uh, that one's empty. <laughs> Did you have one here? Oh, that spot was for Batman. <laughs> you like Batman. <laughs> What's not to like? I only saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Oh man, I'd, I'd love to see him again. Let's see if I can make that happen. I'm gonna go give Bane a beer and then hopefully be done with this very strange sequence of events. <laughs> so, I, I got three, I already got majority. I don't really need to talk to you, they're just gonna vote me in, but I guess I'll, I'll do that anyway. Screw it, why not? Here's your beer. I only brought one, so I guess you're the one who gets it. There you go. Thought you looked thirsty. That, and you told me you were. Please, come. Re 
Cradler. He bombed your building and killed your friend. I can lift that. that to me. I'd bomb their building, kill their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. Any revenge I wanted, I already got. He did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find, especially after Riddler's death. Yes, men you can trust, so hard to find. That guy. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Faith! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away, and yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. How would this schmuck Loyalty have killed the Riddler? Is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are. Don't make me kill this dude. Really willing to do all that you claim. I'm not killing this guy. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over. Fine. I'll prove it. Nope, not doing it. Okay, well I need, okay. Um, that's, hmm. I was not gonna kill him because I'm Batman, but it looks like there's really no other way. I'll prove it. Nope, that's my pipe, my pipe, my pipe. Yep, you see, that that pipe belongs to me, and then you're gonna get it in the stomach. I don't need to kill you, right? Maybe I can have some kind of choice here? Be brutal, be merciful, I'll be merciful. Yeah, there we go. You showed him mercy. Yeah. That was a mistake. Take him somewhere. The package is moving. What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for, it's happening. Good, I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Oh, we need to vote. Not till everyone votes. Oh, come on. What do that, you say, boys? It's gotta be four Who's yeses, right? Wayne? In or out? Where's Freeze? The aristocrat likes the backbone to dirty his hands. Out. Oh, come on. There may be more to Wayne than first appears. You can be trusted. You know. Here we go. Bruce is strong and smart and handsome. Like, super handsome and nuts, you guys. And... Thank you, John. Where was I going with this? You were going to say in. Right, right. I vote in. Yay! Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. Yeah. You earned a ticket to ride, pal. Just like I drew it up. Make sure that EMP shielding is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. What's an APC? Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can be ours. Let's go. Somebody grab that thing. It's important. Stop riling up the guys in the masks. You know they're expendable. We all know it. Very indiscreet. Oh, come on. They don't even give me a gun? I'm not Batman here. I need, like, an AK. Wayne, we are close. Make your device ready. Will do. Okay. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah. What? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh huh. What? No. You are providing our escape. Yeah. Waller. On the move with targets. Track this signal. Get your people here now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. Okay. Now we do this. I mean, there's only two trucks of them, right? If we bring in like an army, we should be okay. Maybe. I don't really know. 
Possibly? Oh yeah, that's what in the I gotta say, Bruce, now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes. Armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Oh, this isn't Waller's people. Ow. This is whatever we're intercepting. Uh, okay. Oop. Off you go. I still have what no idea that? what we're stealing. HQ, do you copy? My gun, it's fried. Right. They have electric Move. guns. Oh, that's what you guys get for not breaking bullets, you idiots. Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp. You just gonna wait here? Okay. Secure the vehicle. There you go, it's a good idea. Everybody just remain calm. Don't do anything crazy. I'm gonna punch him. I want him to not get shot. There we go. Your place is on the perimeter. Yeah, yeah. Freeze, open the door. Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. Allow no sudden moves and no talk. Whoa. Mr. Freeze was always one of my favorite Batman villains, especially Arnold Schwarzenegger. Go on, quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Oop. Why not for yourself? I am very curious. Off, or I'll shoot. Will you now? Does that one have bullets in it? Nope. Well then, no, uh, no, no, no don't, don't. No need to kill somebody. Right, kid, oh. We don't have time for this. We are not done here, Wayne. What is this guy gonna do? Let's push I him out of the way. Turn my back on him. I leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Man, seize the cargo. Get out of here. Here you go, okay. What is it, a tombstone? Where are you? Okay, well. Oh. About. The package. Let them have it. It's not worth my agents' lives. <laughs> oh! You can't be serious. You were supposed to be here. That's not good, right? No! That was my ride! Break it's a flare! And disable their vehicles! Okay, don't don't shoot people, please. We can fix this all later. For now, just move it. Waller out. I don't want to hurt ya. But I will blow your heads off if you make me. Eat concrete! Lights out! I can't save all these people. This is on Waller. This isn't on me. Okay, I'll just knock you out. Okay, go to sleep. See, now you're not shot. Oh, okay. Mask guys, they're they're not people. They say warrior's death. That guy's gonna get smooshed by a car or something. Head off Bane, head off Harley. Um let's Harley. go for Harley. Brucey, come join the fun. We'll keep your arms and legs inside the ride. Ooh. Fancy. Oh dear. That guy's gonna get whoa, okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go punch him. Yeah, there we go. Well, that was fun. Kinda. Be a sweetheart and give me a hand with the luggage. Just punching people to save their lives. <laughs> you see, when he punches them, not as good an idea. Okay, let's just get out of here. He's, he's taking a lot of shots. Okay. Yeah, that, you see, they know what's up. Just run. I'm out of here. Yep, good idea. I like it. 
Oh. Hey, they we betray Bane? Interesting. I didn't think the group would turn against him. I mean, kind of. They just left him. He might be a little upset he has to walk, right? He doesn't look like the kind of guy that does like day. We'll meet him back at base, everything will be fine, right? It looks nice like a body. Work back there, Brucey boy. You really know how to show a girl a good time. Have your fun now. Oof, the Iceman bummeth. If Bane survives, he'll make us all pay for abandoning him. Hmm. Bane will survive, and he won't let this slide. Nice, probably having a ball. Cracking skulls. We did what we had to do. We retrieved the package, and Harley drove off to make sure we kept it. You tell him. You're all welcome. Now I'm in charge. All right. We got the package. Be grateful you're around to see it. Can I please know what it is now? <laughs> Intrigued, Brucey? Yes. Want to know what's inside? Yes. Go on. Open it. Oh, wait a minute. Could this be a bat suit? Couldn't be. Right? It looks like a body. Oh. It is a body. Why would we give a crap about Riddler's body? He wasn't Oof. even meta human. I thought he stank when he was alive. You really put us through a lot of trouble, Mr. Smarty Pants. Getting yourself killed like that. We needed you for the next stage. I've got what you need. Catwoman? For the right price. Don't blow my cover. Okay. I'm happy she's back, but what? I don't. I can't think of anything in Batman lore that would require Riddler's body. You and 45% of players left Harley feeling happy. Okay, she felt self-satisfied by how she was able to manipulate you in the lab. She was impressed that you managed to uncover information on her father, and she's thrilled you fought with her instead of Bane. Hey, screw Bane. Oh, wait. Would we have abandoned Harley instead of Bane if I chose the other? Uh, you and 99.7% of players left Waller feeling content. She was frustrated when you asked her to consider Gordon. She was disapproved when you were calling Gordon instead of her to help out. But because you agreed to work with her while undercover, your relationship with Waller is positive. Okay. You and 0% of players left Alfred feeling sad. <laughs> What? What do you mean zero percent? I did everything I could to comfort Alfred. I care about him. He didn't approve of your decision to protect Tiffany by lying to her. Cool. I could have just let her die. He was ashamed when you noticed he needed to rest. What do you mean ashamed? I wanted him to rest. I don't want him to worry about me. And your conversation in the other parlor left him feeling useless. This Bogus, screw you, Alfreds. You, you still have two eyes because of me. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, you and 23% of players left Tiffany feeling freaked out. Yeah, she was irked when you deflected her question about the lab. She was outraged when you suggested she couldn't take care of herself, and she was horrified to hear you admitted that you're a villain. I don't care. I've, I've never had a good relationship with Tiffany. I, I don't care. I don't know who she is. She's nobody. She's nothing. Me and 45%. Of players left John feeling happy. All the villains are happy. All all the good guys are sad. It's just he was overjoyed when you pinky swore to never lie again. He was excited by the violent and the violent way Willie was handled. <laughs> I shouldn't be violently handling Willies around anybody. He is elated you chose to fight alongside Harley. 
and then you and 2.2% of players left Gordon feeling skeptical. I am just getting some just bare bottom decisions here. I still can't believe 0%. He was glad that you called him to help. He's hurt you would defend Waller after what she did to him. And because you didn't reveal what leverage Waller has on you, he's doubtful. Okay, so I was in, yeah, 43%. 63% and man oh man there are so many decisions in this one way more than any of the other Batmans I heard that they were kind of branching out everything a lot more but crazy but I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Batman Enemy Within guys and I gotta say this season is so much better than the first one like, I think my big complaint about the first season was that the enemies were forgettable like Lady Arkham, she had a cool twist. We didn't really expect who she really was because she was unique to the series and stuff like that. But overall, you know, she's not a nostalgic supervillain. And then, uh, Penguin? Like, I can't even remember the enemies that were in that season. Penguin, he was a strange version of the Penguin. He wasn't, like, really a big deal. They are not on the same level as Harley Quinn and Mr. Freeze and Bane and the Riddler and the Joker. This is the Batman that I have always wanted from a Telltale game. I cannot wait to see how this could get any more ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.